Hi everyone, it's me, Crystalline, your proactive conscious aging life coach. How are you guys doing today? I'm joyful in the Lord and in the power of his might. Welcome once again to my channel. To my returning subscribers and viewers, I appreciate you guys coming along this YouTube journey with me. And if you're new to my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with someone, subscribe to my channel, and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get my videos just as soon as I upload them. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a question that I'm going to ask you right away as I start this video. And this question is coming up because whenever I ask someone about their eating habits, just in general conversation, my question is, well, you know, what do you eat? How healthy is your diet? Usually when I ask that question or just say, well, you know, what kind of food do you eat? The person first off starts talking about how healthy they eat, but when they answer, they're saying, well, I don't eat meat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef. <laughs> I don't eat lamb. I don't eat gluten. I'm gluten free. I don't eat dairy products. And the list of what I don't eat goes on and on. In this video, I'm going to give you some healthy food that when next time someone asks you that question, you can say, well, this is what I eat to have a healthy diet. And so today I'm going to introduce to you my superfood sandwich. So we're going to have a good time. Follow along with the ingredients. I'm also going to list everything in the comments section so you can have this recipe for future reference. All right then, let me get started. Let's start with the first ingredient of this sandwich, which is the Ezekiel bread. Now I'm going to tell you a few things about this bread before I get started making the whole sandwich. First of all, it's called Ezekiel bread because it's named after the Bible verse in Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 9, which says, Take thou also unto thee wheat, barley, and beans and lentils and millets and fitches and put them in one vessel and make the bread thereof. And so that's what Ezekiel bread is made of. It's far healthier than whole wheat bread. It has six times more grains and legume and it also has six sprouted whole grains. The grains and legume combination in Ezekiel bread makes the protein available in this bread a complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids needed in your diet. That sounds good to me. Ezekiel bread has sprouted grains that release enzymes that allow for maximum vitamin and mineral absorption. The grains in whole grain bread are just ground into flour, meaning the bread will require digestive enzymes. However, with the Ezekiel bread, you don't have that problem. You will benefit from the nutrient value of the grains. Ezekiel bread has more protein, more fiber, and is lower on the glycemic index, helping to maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. So, <laughs> there's your course on Ezekiel bread. Now, I'm going to start with these two pieces. And doesn't that just look good right off the bat? This bread is extremely, extremely filling. So the next thing on the agenda that I'm going to add is avocado. And what I did is I took the avocado, cut it, and I mashed it up into this spread. And that's easy to do. You just take a fork and spread the avocado out. You mash it, okay? And I almost forgot something. And so I'm, I'm back. I almost forgot my seasonings. So anyway, avocado is rich in fiber, in B6, vitamin C, potassium, vitamin E, 
folate, and copper. It protects against heart disease, it improves satiety, and it promotes gut health. It's rich in omega-6 fatty acids. And so this is your healthy fat that you're gonna eat for the day. Now, I, 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 I'm sorry, omega-3 fatty acids. I don't wanna get that wrong. So. I just spread it on and you can use more than that if you want to but I don't like to use that much because I'm watching my calories and you know uh, avocado is awesome but it can be high in calories so you have to watch that okay so the next thing that I'm gonna put on this superfood sandwich are my cucumbers and let me just show you something because I just like to score my cucumbers so it looks like this and I just use a vegetable peeler and I score the cucumber all the way around because I want to use, I mean, I want to leave some of the skin on the cucumber because that's also good fiber. So let me tell you about this cucumber. Now cucumber contains most of the vitamins that you need every day. It's also a good way to get some extra water in your system. It contains B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, folic acid, vitamin C, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. Okay, so that's your cucumbers. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of this seasoning. This is salt-free Mrs. Dash, because I like my seasoning throughout my sandwich. I also use Laurie's lemon pepper and if you've watched any of my other food videos you'll know that I put lemon pepper on everything okay because I love lemon pepper. Now I'm also going to add some of these clover and broccoli sprouts. Sprouts are like nutrition powerhouses. They are super foods. I want to encourage you to eat your sprouts. Now the clover sprouts are rich in vitamin A, vitamin B3, vitamin K, vitamin C, and vitamin, uh, what else? What else? Oh, I said A and B, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting off track here. But anyway, they have the K and C, which promote health healing and overall health. They're rich in iron, calcium, potassium, copper, magnesium, zinc, phosphorus and manganese you better eat you some sprouts okay <laughs> these are nutrition little tiny nutrition powerhouses look at that that's what you need to be eating these little sprouts now the broccoli sprouts which this is a combination of clover and broccoli they contain protein fiber phytochemicals and the main one is sulfur sulforaphane and it's known for its powerful powerful cancer fighting properties so this is what i'm talking about when you say you're eating healthy what are you eating to fight off disease okay these will help you do it broccoli sprouts also have uh 82% vial availability, meaning it's rapidly and easily absorbed. It has vitamin C, A, and calcium. So let me talk a little bit more about the sulforaphane. Let me see if I'm pronouncing that right. Sulforaphane, yes, this is one of those long words and it's not a chemical. Anyway, it promotes cancer cell apoptosis, or the programmed cell death of cancer cells. It inhibits angiogenesis or growth of new blood vessels that feed malignant cells. Now, what did I say? You need to eat your sprouts. It also reduces inflammation in the body. It lowers susceptibility to all cancer-causing substances, and it reduces the invasion and spread of cancer cells. What do I want you to do? I want you to eat your sprouts. Again, these are the broccoli and clover sprouts. And let me put a little extra on there <laughs> so I can make sure I'm avoiding all of that, okay? There we go. Now, 
I'm also going to add some spinach. And I have everything cut up right here. I have spinach, I have watercress and parsley. So let me tell you about these. Now, the spinach improves glucose control. And so you know, that helps with preventing di diabetes. It also lowers the risk of cancer. It improves bone health. It contains vitamin C, vitamin E, iron <laughs> magnesium and potassium and also the iron is crucial for transport transporting oxygen to the blood so let's put a lot of that on there okay now i'm also going to put some watercress now have you seen like on tv sometimes people are saying they're going to have a watercress sandwich and you're thinking like Ugh. let me tell you something this is watercress and this watercress is awesome I like to just eat this and the spinach mixed together raw. I really do because it tastes really tasty and it has so many benefits. It's packed with nutrients. It provides 100% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin K. And vitamin K is a fat soluble vitamin which is necessary for blood clotting and also healthy bones. It's a high antioxidant con uh, content and it helps to lower your risk of chronic diseases. Now I'm going to put in the comment section where you can get more information. Um, for example, like healthline.com where you can go and get all of the you know, benefits of this. Maybe some that I'm forgetting. Okay. I'll put that in the comments. I mean, excuse me, in the description box for you so you can read it for yourself. Now, the next thing that I'm going to put on here is parsley. Yay, parsley. <laughs> okay, did you know that parsley is a medicinal and culinary herb? It has uh, antibacterial and antifungal properties. And it fights especially against Staphylococcus aureus. It improves digestion, it freshens your breath, and it also minimizes kidney stones and gallbladder infections. Did you know that? I did not know that until I looked up everything. Amen. The next thing <laughs> that I'm going to add are mushrooms. Now, mushrooms benefit your skin, your brain, and your bones. It helps keep you young, and isn't that what I'm talking about on this channel? Amen. Proactive aging. I got so much stuff on here, it's all falling off, but that's okay. Mushrooms help keep you young with two antioxidants, and those are glutathione and ergothionine. And these protect the body from physiological stress that causes visible signs of aging. In other words, wrinkles, okay? And it also has polyphenols in the mushrooms that help protect you against cognitive decline as you age. That's very important. So the mushrooms help you with your brain health too. So now, what I'm going to put on here... Let me see, did I get everything? Uh, this is gonna be a thick sandwich. Let me put a little bit more of this Mrs. Dash, okay? I'm also going to add an avocado dressing onto my Ezekiel bread. Now you can make your own dressing if you wanna make it out of um, Greek yogurt. You can find a recipe for that. However, I'm using pre-made avocado dressing there. So I got plenty of avocado in my diet for today. And so we just put that on top. And there we have the super food sandwich. Doesn't that look great? I think it looks incredible. Yes, it does. So I'm just going to cut it in half. But wait a minute, though. I think I need some more lemon pepper. <laughs> what do you think? You think I need it? I mean, you think I use enough lemon pepper on my sandwich? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And it's really thick. And 
this is going to fill me up. I'm telling you, this sandwich with this bread is going to fill me up for the rest of the day. That's what I like about this Ezekiel bread is that it is not over processed. Let me just show you what it looks like again. It is not over processed to death. It is whole grains and sprouted grains, which really fill me up. I don't know about you. And there we have it. Let me, I'm gonna chew on this mushroom. Bring you back up to the camera. And that, my friends, is my superfood sandwich. So, this is what my superfood sandwich looks like. And this is how I typically eat it. I like these big giant green grapes. And this is so filling that it really will last me for the remainder of the afternoon and on into the evening. So, I'm glad to share this recipe with you and I hope you'll put it in your recipe files for your proactive conscious aging recipes <laughs> that I'm sharing with you. If you have any questions about this recipe, please put them down in the comment section. Let me know how you think you'll like this sandwich. I think you'll really like it. I appreciate you guys for watching today. God bless you and I'll see you next time.